Have you ever wondered why some people just seem to be more approachable than others? Well, if you have ever wanted to enhance your approachability, either at work or in a social setting or a personal setting, then you've come to the right place. My name's Antoinette Griffin and my videos are all about confidence, communication, and charisma from an introvert's perspective. You can enhance your approachability and I'm gonna talk about four ways that you can do that while still maintaining who you naturally are, how you're naturally wired. The first way that you can enhance your approachability is by slowing down your pace. Are you one of those people that tends to move very quickly? Maybe you are very task oriented or maybe you're thinking about all the things that you need to get done or the next place that you need to go and you are moving at a quick pace. You're moving like you're on a mission. And sometimes you are on a mission. Sometimes you don't wanna be stopped by anyone else or approached by anyone else. But has it just become a habit? Are you moving quickly even when you don't have this pressing deadline or even when you're not running late? You've just gotten to the habit of moving quickly. When you move at a fast pace, you're sending the signal to everyone else that you don't have time for them to approach you, that you are on a mission or you are running late or you really don't care about talking at the time. So know that you're sending out these signals even through your movement. My mentor, John Maxwell, has a quote that's one of my most favorite quotes of his, and that is, walk slowly through the crowd. The reason why I embrace this is because I do this myself. I tend to move very quickly. I'm pretty task-oriented. I'm thinking about the next thing that I need to do rather than the people that I really need to interact and engage with. I have to actually silently tell myself to slow down. You'll notice once you slow down that you are going to have more interactions with other people, that people are going to feel like they can approach you when your pace is slower. The second way that you can be more approachable is by being intentional about your facial expression. What signals are you sending to other people? Are you sending that you really don't want to be approached? You know, a lot of times introverts are in their heads a lot. As an introvert myself, I can identify with this. When I'm thinking about something, I'm not thinking about my facial expression. And so what happens is I'm sending the signal like I really don't want to connect with others because I'm concentrating on my thoughts. Or maybe you're in a situation where maybe you're a little bit nervous or apprehensive or uncomfortable about the group of people that you're with, or maybe even an individual. When you really do want them to feel comfortable approaching you, but you realize that your feelings of uncomfortableness are sending out signals through your facial expressions. So being very intentional about your facial expression is huge. So what do you do when you're thinking about something or you have these feelings of nervousness or maybe you're feeling uncomfortable? How do you relay more of an accepting, approachable facial expression? What works for me is I simply part my lips and I have a curious expression on my face. It makes it look like I really am more approachable. So I'm not having this silly smile plastered all over my face all the time, but I do try to have a look of curiosity and interest in other people. The third way that you can be more approachable is through eye contact. Once again, if you're introverted or you're in your head, you may be thinking about things and you're not even thinking about the people that you're passing or somebody who's right in front of you that you can make eye contact with. Or maybe you just are a person that has difficulty with eye contact. Know that when you're not looking at someone, then you're coming across as unapproachable. People feel like they're actually bothering you if they approach you if you have not made eye contact with them. 
Now you have to do all three of these together because if you just have eye contact without a pleasant facial expression or you, you have a pleasant facial expression but you're moving quickly through the crowd, it's not gonna work. So you have to do all three of these. And now let me get to number four. However, first, if you like this video, please press like and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Number four, if you want to be more approachable, then take the initiative and approach others. You can be seemingly the friendliest person in the world through your slow movement, through your pleasant facial expression, your eye contact, but when you're not taking the initiative with others, then people don't feel as comfortable approaching you. And if you are in any kind of leadership position, say for instance at work, you have a team of people that you supervise or you lead, a lot of times many people just subconsciously feel like the leader is the one that needs to approach them first. They don't feel as comfortable approaching their leader, even when their leader seems friendly. So always remember, just take the initiative, approach people first, whether or not you're in leadership, but especially if you're in leadership, and people will feel more comfortable than approaching you. Are you doing certain things to make yourself more approachable, either at work or in social settings? If so, I would love to read them in the comments. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel.